This question is asking which part of the audit or the phase of the audit would we perform this procedure in, right? And the procedure that it's asking us about is using audit data analytics to analyze accounts receivable collection periods by geographical region. So let's just take a step back and make sure we understand the four different areas where audit data analytics can be used in the audit. And as we can see in the visual, well, it'd be one for risk assessment, two for internal controls, three for substantive testing, and four for forming a conclusion, right? Those are the four different phases of an audit that audit data analytics can be used to assist the auditor. So let me give you an example of what the output of the audit data analytics might look like. So here we have the AR collection periods by GEO. And you can see we have east, west, north, and south. Now the collection period, that's gonna be measured in number of days. And so what we'll do is we'll look at the collection periods by GEO and assess okay, what is the overall trend? How does this compare to the terms they have with their invoices? And is there any particular region or geo that stands out as being more risky than the rest? Well, if we look at south, they're at 32 days and east, west, and north range between 15 and 20 days, right? So south by itself does seem to stand out and it could present a higher risk. So if we take a step back, what's this analysis really telling us? It's telling us where the higher risk would be. It's saying the South, it seems like they could have a higher risk of material misstatement there based on that collection period. And overall, well, we would do this as part of our risk assessment phase of the audit. And our risk assessment procedures, again, the whole point of them is to see which regions present a higher risk of material misstatement. So again, by understanding which region might present a higher risk of material misstatement, the audit team can use that information to better design or tailor their audit procedures around the potential risk. So the correct answer here is gonna be risk assessment procedures.